In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to draw on a screenshot on a Chromebook, so that when you take a screenshot on your Chromebook, you could draw a circle around something in the screenshot, draw an arrow to something, highlight something, or draw whatever you want on it. Timmy already has a detailed video showing all the different ways to take a screenshot on a Chromebook, so you might want to pause this video and go and watch that one first if you haven't already. There'll be a link to it in the video description down below. But for this demonstration, Timmy's just going to take a basic full screen screenshot by holding down the control key on the keyboard and then pressing this key up here. So Timmy will press that. And now Timmy has a full screen screenshot. So now, no matter how you took your screenshot, to start drawing on it, you'll need to open it up in the Files app. So you need to open the Files app, so it's probably this icon down here. If it's not anywhere on this bar down here, you'll just need to click on the circle here, and you'll find it somewhere in here. But it'll probably be here, so you can just click on it here. And now, unless you've moved your screenshot into a different folder already, it should be in the Downloads folder on your Chromebook. So make sure you're in the My Files section and then double click on Downloads to go into Downloads, and your screenshot should be one of the files in here. So now, once you've found your screenshot, you just need to double click on it to open it up like this, and then to draw on it, just click on this squiggly line icon up in the menu across the top here. So, to me, click that, and now it gives you a whole lot of drawing tools on the side here, and you can start drawing. So if you use a trackpad on your Chromebook, you can position your mouse over where you want to draw, and you'll see your cursor is already this little dot instead of the normal mouse arrow. And if you click and hold down with one finger, so just choose a finger, and click and hold it down, probably in the bottom left corner is usually best. And now, with a different finger, it's probably easiest if it's on the other hand, just drag that finger around, and as you can see, you're now drawing. So, to me, drawing just a rather odd shape here as a demonstration, but if you wanted to circle Timmy's face, you could click and drag like this, until you've circled it. It gets easier with a bit of practice, but if you have a proper mouse with your Chromebook, like Timmy does, you can actually do it a bit more easily. With your mouse, all you need to do is position it where you want it to be positioned, and then click and hold the normal click button, and then just drag the mouse around whatever you want to draw around. This is going pretty badly, because Timmy's doing it on camera, but you get the gist, now there's a circle around that. And if your Chromebook has a touch screen, that can actually make it really easy. All you need to do is reach out and draw on the screen as though your finger is a pen. So if your Chromebook has a touch screen, that's probably the best way to do it. So that's all really cool, but if you want to draw something on your screenshot other than this medium thickness black line, there are a whole lot of options over here. If you want to draw in a different color, you could choose any of these colors here, so maybe this light yellow, and now when you drag around and draw, it'll be in that yellow color. And with the size up here, you can choose a really big one and draw a really thick line, or you can choose a really thin one and draw a really thin line. So there's a few options like that. And if you want to highlight something in your screenshot, you'll see up here there are three tools, the pen, highlighter, and eraser. So if you click on highlighter, now you're in highlighter mode, so you can choose the color you want to highlight in. Timmy usually always likes to highlight in yellow for some reason, but you could choose any color you like. And choose the thickness, we'll leave it at maybe medium thickness, and now, you can click and drag over your text and highlight it all. Maybe for this 
big text will go with a extra thick thickness. And now you can click and drag over it like that until the whole text is highlighted. So that's really cool. And one last thing before you save it, if you ever make a mistake here, so you don't really like how this highlighting turned out, you don't have to cancel the whole thing and start again. You can just click on the eraser here, and now you have an eraser. So if you click and drag it over the highlighting, it will remove that bit, and if you drag it over this bit, it'll remove that. If you drag it over this thin yellow squiggly line, it'll remove that. And now you're just left with these. So if you ever need to remove something you've drawn, you can do that with the eraser quite easily. And so that's really cool. And that's really all there is to drawing on your screenshot. And once you're happy with it, you'll need to come up and click done up here. And now you'll have two different options to save the changes. If you're happy for the drawing to be saved to the original screenshot, so that you'll no longer have a version of the screenshot without the drawing, you'll just have one image of the screenshot with the drawing on it, you can click save up here, and that'll be saved, and you'll just have the one version of the screenshot. But if you want to keep the original screenshot without the drawing, just in case you ever need it, and save a new copy of the screenshot with the drawing on it, you need to click on the arrow button next to the save button here. So click the arrow and then click save as. And now you have two different options for how you want to save this new copy. You could save it to somewhere like Google Drive or a different folder like that. And then you could keep it with the same name and just save it in there. Or if you want both copies of the file to be in the same folder, you would just need to change the name of the new one. So where it's got this name here, you might just click in here and type drawing or something like that, maybe copy, anything you want. Or you could just delete all of this and change the name entirely. And then once you've changed the name, you can click save and your new copy will be saved. So now, if you go into the Files app down here, because we used the Save As method, we now have this screenshot, which is the original, where there's nothing drawn on it. And if we close that, we also have this new copy with all the drawing drawn on it. So that's all there is to drawing on a screenshot on a Chromebook. Now, whenever you take a screenshot on your Chromebook, and you want to draw or highlight something to point something out, you know just how to do it. And if you want to learn more about all the different ways you can take a screenshot on your Chromebook, be sure to go and watch this video here.